Go over to Rachel. Okay, thanks Ashok, and it's brilliant to see so many people here again. It's been a long journey and we still have a long way to go. But I thought I'd just say a couple of things about what we've achieved so far as a movement. That's all of us here and many other people who can't be here today. So one thing we've achieved in London is the understanding that for cycling to be a mode of transport, a mass mode of transport, it needs transport-sized amounts of money. Right? This is a big step forward. In the UK, the traditional approach has been throw a bit of money that's been hanging around behind the sofa at the end of the budget year. So we're starting to see some change. We're starting to see some acknowledgement that cycling is value for money, but it's not cheap. It needs investment. It needs resource. It needs skilled people supported across all the boroughs and across the across Transport for London at all levels. And it needs supportive political leadership, which is why this campaign is so important. We need councils across London to support this. What we've also gained is a recognition that we need to learn. We need to learn a lot in this country from continental best practice or the Netherlands, as it's also known, and other countries. So we need, we need to tell our planners, our engineers, that the little book of crap cycle lanes is not a design guide. We need to move forward. We need to create the kind of safe and inviting cycling environments that we can see in the Netherlands and many other countries. Um, I'm privileged sometimes to speak at other European countries and I can tell you what gets a big laugh. It's the cover of Cycle Infrastructure Design, our national design guide, which shows a very stressed looking man in high vis helmet squeezing down a gutter lane being overtaken by an HGV. That's not what we want. So. What we need is inclusive design. We need cycling that is safe and that is joyful. Joy, not a word you often hear in transport studies. Journey ambience, perhaps, but joy. That's what we need. We need cycling for all ages, for all abilities. 19 out of 20 people over 65 in London never cycle. This is shocking. They're being denied health benefits, but also the joy of cycling. So, to finish, we've had some bold, visionary words, which is really welcome. We've moved forward in the understanding of what's needed. Now what we need, across the capital, is bold, visionary action. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel.